your grace. But I don't like to be called a tender ninny. Tender ninny. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Now, all right. I'm going to tell you something. I'm in teeth. And I came out here all the way from Philadelphia single-handed to fight oral ignorance. And I intend to go further west. West is that way. West? And I'm going to find me a couple of horses, and I'm leaving on the next wagon train out. Now, what do you think about that? Um, are you going to take your tree and your dog along with you? Sorry about your husband passing on, ma'am, but rules are rules, and I gotta stick to them. No women alone on the wagon train. Uh, look, Mr. Welsh, I have got to get on this wagon train. No single women. Company rule. Well, I've got to find some way. Well, the only thing I can recommend is you find yourself a husband by 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. A husband? Mm-hmm. All you need is something wearing pants. Going that way. Oh, West is that way. Going to ask me to come in? Huh? Oh, oh sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, come in. Come in. Oh, uh, <laughs> I like to keep my hand in. <laughs> I'm sorry to bother you like this, but I have a terrible toothache. Is it in your mouth? Oh, yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> sure. Well, uh, you just uh, sit right down there, and we'll just take care of it. I probably should have made an appointment. I realize how busy you must be. Oh, golly heck, there's always, always room for an emer <clears throat> emergency. I'll tell you what, uh, could you just uh, uh, open your mouth? turned away, I noticed your profile. It's really very attractive. Uh, uh, profile? <laughs> well. huh? hmm? Oh, your hands. Oh, they're lovely. The hands of a surgeon. <laughs> yeah, my, my hands. <clears throat> well, uh... Hands have always run in my family. Do you know what I think? <laughs> I think you're very nice. You know what I think? What? I think I might faint. Ah. Uh. How did a wonderful professional man like you escape marriage all these years? 
Well, uh, I've always felt I was a little too thin for marriage. Oh. And besides, uh, my main mission in life right now is to go west. How strange fate is. I, too, am alone and going west. And suddenly, out of the blue sky, I meet you. A big, tall, handsome man. Now, wait a minute. Just, just wait a minute. I, I don't even know you. I'm crazy about you. Isn't that enough? Now then, the witnesses there, Mrs. Longbow and Slosh White, are 25 cents each, payable immediately following the ceremony. Fine. Can we speed it up, Reverend? The wagon train leaves in an hour. Look, this is so sudden, Miss Cushings. I mean, you just don't fix a tooth one minute and then get married the next. The song is 50 cents extra. Would you like the song? Yes, fine. Oh, promise me that someday... Let's go, Reverend. During the music? Yes. All right. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here. Now, wait a minute. Hold it. Uh, I can't get married without telling my mother. There isn't any time. We've got to catch the wagon train. Uh, 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 Jesse. Uh, Jesse. My mother will never get over this. She'll just never forgive me for this. We are assembled here in the presence of God to join together this man and this... Now, what? You, we're strangers. You know that, don't you? I mean, I'd at least like you to meet my mother, maybe even her friend Celia. Speed it up, Reverend. He's instructed those who enter into this relationship, etc., etc. Now, that's not Episcopalian. By the authority invested in me by the church, I declare that you, Penelope, and uh, you, uh... uh Jesse. Uh, and you, Jesse, are here by man and wife. Attaboy, Reverend! Now, wait, just hold it, hold it. I don't, I don't feel at all that this is uh, actually, I mean, the whole, the thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we better hurry if we want to catch that wagon train. <laughs> Well, well, well. You did it, ma'am. What's the new name? Dr. and Mrs. Jesse W. Haywood. Well, good for you. You ready to go? Wagons West. That's a ticket. Just pull up behind that last wagon. Right. Ah! Nice going. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just so darn excited. Mr. and Mrs. Hiram Remington, Atlanta. Dr. and Mrs. Jesse W. Haywood, Philadelphia. Dr. and Mrs. Jesse W. Haywood, Philadelphia. Reverend Zach Brigan and my loyal minion, Matthew Bash. Nice couple. Mrs. Trite, what are you trying to do? Get us thrown in jail? Oh, a pretty little thing like that and a derby dude. They ain't likely to be federal men. We can't trust anybody. Now remember that. Come on, fix it. <laughs> I just can't believe it. Tonight's our wedding night. In a few hours we'll stop. Make camp. Have a little supper. Betty bye. same boat as you 35 years ago. Is that right? I'll never forget my wedding night as long as I live. I'll bet. I cried like a baby. <laughs> Almost done, Ma. Penelope. Penelope. What do you want? Are you betting by? I suppose so.
Guard duty, Dr. Hayward. You're kidding! <laughs> Who the hell? Ah! Did it scare you? <laughs> Heck no, you couldn't. I come to relieve you, Doc. I reckon you got some chores you want to fulfill, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, good luck. Sleep, so I decided to take a walk. That's all. Well, you'd be lonesome too if your husband were on guard duty. It's our wedding night. Lover's quarrel, that's all. All right, back to bed. Gosh, honey, I didn't realize you missed me so much. <laughs> I wonder what she's up to. Don't you get it, Zach? She's got the sweets on me. <laughs> I have the same trouble every place I go. Women just come running after me, wanting to kiss me on the mouth. Thank you. 